All right, what's up, guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. I'm going to keep this up so you guys can see my contact information. Guys, if you get anything from this video or want to hear more or see the teachings at MIC, look no further. All you got to do is text 213-458-5997 or hit my email, Tosh, at myinvestingclub.com. All right, guys, let's dive right in. So I don't have a crazy amount of content from Alex this week, so I actually put a ton of bow charts and uh, mix in with the members. So we're going to see this through, but dude, there was a lot to talk about this week. So Alex had a pretty good week with the two P and L's I have, uh, for the, <laughs> for lack of a better starter, you know, this six K, uh, but guys top was a massive runner this week. Alex came in swinging for the week and, uh, misstepped a little bit negative six K on Monday, traded like shit today, started off the morning with a picture perfect short on hollow in the three forties, then shorted Acon around one fifties and stopped out near the one sixties for a small controlled loss, a uh, shorted after sell the news candle on INAB and found myself over trading it too much. Guys, when we have problems in trading, FOMO, greed, revenge trading, over trading, and trying to find more than what's available or trying to force too much of an edge and you, you know, you're just crazy biased in more so just making money versus what's at hand you know it's always good to recognize what you're doing wrong and Alex said right there he goes I was trading too much goal is to wire out some money size down and humble myself down after a great last week which he had last week so negative 6k today you know pretty much in the scheme of things just a speed bump for Alex but Bao was doing the best case scenario you know Bao's main bread and butter is shorting these pumping ups guys we had this pump right here on NCPL randomly Caught the dump and then was out before this crazy rip. So I just love that little play right there. Had to kind of showcase that. I kind of wanted to see what the members were doing on Monday. Let's pull up some people. A couple of people I really want to shout out. I really want to shout out E and Rockmon. I see these members just doing so much better every single week. And I love what E did right here on, you know, he hit, he hit a little bit of a move right before the open. Didn't really do anything, but he hit where the stock fell before. And that's exactly what you want to do. David doing a really good job. Daily consistency. And here's the thing, guys, like, look at this hollow right off the watch list. David, hollow right off the watch list. Fantastic. Oh, Vindibo, hollow right off the watch list. <laughs> like, guys, uh, hollow right off the watch list for Ryan, too. So, the thing that you guys have to understand about what mentorship is and the way our community, you know, operates is, guys, every single morning, Alex is curating this wonderful watch list of what you need to be paying attention to, anywhere from two stocks to eight stocks, making sure that you have an edge long or short or, you know, warning you to avoid something that doesn't have an edge. But look at all these members crushing from the watch list, just following the watch list teachings. So, or at minimum, using it as a guide. Rockmon was the other, you know, member I shouted out. He is just doing so well these days, waiting for these parabolic extensions, not getting into early, paying himself really good job. And then Steven shouted out a, a member named Steven, Steven G, really fun, moderator Steven, shout out Steven G, a member uh, for the disciplinary workshop and the fact that he is doing really good on his disciplinary measures to make sure his trading is intact. So just wanted to make that very clear. Coming into Tuesdays, guys, I don't have anything from Alex. I don't think he traded every day this week, but I do have some from Bao. So, you know, let's pull up INAB really quick. Uh, one sec. Day two on INAB, I believe, on the 25th. Yeah, 25th. Let's scroll back. Going right here. So, guys, we have a day two. Very, very, very standard play right in the red to green line, which Bao was hitting. Uh, beautiful job. Then followed the trend right down on this low hanger. Just a really good job. And then uh, MGRX, kind of, I think the same thing. So let me let me pull that up on the 25th. MGRX. All right, let's see. Nope, uh, day three, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, right here. So guys, day one, day two, day three, but it's still totally a low hanger, especially because it's putting in these pre-market highs uh, or these pre-market tops rather, and it's opening far from VWAP right there, deviated under VWAP. So by the time, you know, these pops are hitting, it's just getting sold off right into all this overhead. And this was kind of like, you know, giving back so much of its gains day one. This is kind of that dead cat bounce in outer lines. So this was really well done. You know, I gave a webinar in this part pop right here failing then into the open and then on day three doing exactly what Bao did right there so just just beautiful very very clean scalping work and Bao's very good guys on the front side or the back side making sure that he's scalping paying himself and cushioning himself going into the day whether it's pre-market or in the immediate morning for further trading later day to make sure that he's already cushioned so at the you know small chance the channel breaks and he does stop out for a loss here or there because he trades so many tickers it's very mitigated it's very small 
um, he always uses outer lines, and again, he's cushioned from before, so the bee sting is not a knife wound, you know, <laughs> it's just a bee sting, you know? Uh, trade CTX, wonderful job here on FRC, uh, First Republic, oh my god, guys, today it's trading at like $2, crazy, crazy stuff. Don't chase, don't chase. Uh, ASTS, great job, E. Again, I got to shout you out. You're just really coming along here, pal. Uh, PO, wonderful job. Hit the stock where it failed before, or if it's DVN or VWAP or death candling, uh, you can absolutely um, follow the trend down. So wonderful job there. And on ZBSA, great job. Uh, let's see, Ryan from CT, red to green lines and where the stock fell before. Great job on INAB using the watch list, of course. You'd be crazy not to. The Pathmakers using the watch list, of course, right? That whole and half dollar line uh, of three. Guys, you're just, you guys are getting so good. It's actually getting like almost borderline laughable. I'm telling you. So coming in Wednesday, guys, let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, so Alex had a negative 6k Monday. I don't have Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday from him. I don't even think he traded some of those days, but 22,600 on Wednesday. Awesome pre-market win on INAB. Short was near the 260s, uh, covered way too early, but really happy about this trade. I don't have his chart. I think he was traveling a lot too, so it was hard for him to post. But guys, if we look at the 26th, um, to kind of see what he was talking about right there, you know, on uh, on uh, Wednesday, you guys can see exactly what he was referring to, and Alex absolutely freaking cleaned up on this. So, really nice job. And then I have a couple charts from Bao. <laughs> Actually, well, I have one chart with a lesson in it, and this is quite funny. You guys are going to see how Bao lays this out for you. Every now and then, guys, every now and then, FOMO is going to get you and that's there's just no way about it so you know it ran on the 24th it completely died then it ran back on the 26th bow got fomo right there at uh two dollars guys so he was kind of in fighting it you know covering out adding again covering out for loss mitigating this win and then he totally details you know front side hard as shit and then the backside guys is so much easier with no stress so when something is running on extreme overextension especially when it gave back its gains already you know this needs a really i gave a webinar on this this needs a really big a big dead cat bounce i was actually kind of surprised about was shortening the twos it's just you want to be up here if it's gave back 100 percent of its move but i think bow had a little bit of fomo as he probably is you know inclined to be completely transparent on things like this which he always is especially when he's you know co-hosting the webinars with me but front side's hard guys front side's hard and look you know, this is a backside mover, but you know, it doesn't mean a frontside move can't happen again. You know, there's always a new frontside within backside, you know, sometimes when shift, when sentiment shifts. So there can always be a new frontside coming. And this is why we have hard stops and max daily losses, or, you know, we cut and make sure that we know what we're doing because of a new frontside could come if it gets really strong, or at least a frontside move on a micro uh, move in a macro trend that's down. So, you know, again, there, you see the forest for the trees, see what's going on and this thing was just so unbelievably wasted from a couple days ago that you know hitting anything under 250 in my opinion was just kind of dangerous you know with you know giving it room to find out if it can really you know reach these previous levels where it failed before so um i think that would absolutely you know mention himself that he probably gave it a fomo and you know front side's a lot harder than backside so just wait for those topping points dario what more needs to be said inab beautiful beautiful job buddy right there uh, George or Jorge, if I'm saying that right, George, probably, uh, beautiful job. Wait for the overextension, hit it right where the stock fell before, follow it down right in a red move on INAB. Great freaking job. <laughs> Math is still green guys. Knock on wood. I'm not trying to ruin his streak or, you know, put a spell on this. I'm just saying, dude, this guy is killing it. So I got to keep shouting him out. This guy's been green every single day for literally like two months straight. I I'm not even exaggerating guys. Literally two months straight. Crazy. March and April. This guy went supernova, super saiyan level God mode. Um, LMAC guys, I have to every now and then put a loser in there because this is so well managed. It's so well handled and handled properly that you got to shout it out. Not every trade is going to be a win. Not every day is going to be a win, but if you protect yourself, guys, you're going to be here for decades to come. And that's just, there's no two ways about it. Rockmon again, big shout out, waiting for stuff moves, hitting right where the stock fell before, following it down. Beautiful scales right there too. Um, and as long as you have a plan to stop out at a certain level, of course, given, you know, some edge or pre-market data or intraday high or wh wherever your plan unfolds and you already pre-planned it is the way to go. Um, <laughs> what's so funny is, um, 
on the stock prior, guys, this this member's name is Edua and Uda just read E U D A. He's got E D U A. I just man, that's some stupid humor, but I thought that was so funny. So uh, E D E D U A member, don't confuse with the ticker symbol. Um, this is like his first trade that he's happy to post. I love this man. Outer lines where the stock fell before, cushioning yourself in the morning, guys. You got, man, I, like a single tear rolls down my cheek. I'm so proud of you guys. So you guys are just crushing, man. Uh, let's see what Val was doing on Ucar yesterday. Ucar. Um, guys, Val is a killer. What, what more needs to be said? I just want you to soak this in. I just want you to literally take it in. What more needs to be said, guys? I'm going to go and pull it up. So... Screw all this midday chop. Don't worry about that. It's the morning moves, guys. This is what we're looking at right here. Like, literally, just soak it in how beautiful this is. Where did the stock fail before? I'm going to leave pauses on these webinars now so you guys can have thought process and get it. But, guys, stock right here fails pre-market right in the open. That's where the resistance level is. Pay yourself and then stuff death candle. Absolute beautiful job and avoid all the mid chop, guys. Avoid all the chop. So just a really, this is the stuff you want to avoid. This is why we wrap up for zombie hour and that is why you make some money in the morning, go to your day job and it's smooth sailing from there. Let's see what the members were doing. One sec, guys. Let me enlarge this for you so you can see a little bit better. Yep, I love what Law did right here. Beautiful job on Adam. You know, the stock's under under VWAP. You know, it's definitely downturn in pre-market. Outer lines right in a VWAP. Great freaking job. Uh, Bomb Bomb caught, caught a U-car zombie hour rip. Dude, I love it. I love it, dude. It, so while Val was making money on the short side, Bomb Bomb was super patient and, uh, and disciplined to wait for that really good long into zombie hour. So really good job. Um, e on Adam. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then Jan, oh my God, man, this member, look at this. So guys, top ran this week. It was freaking nuts. I got to pull it up. This, we haven't had a black swan like this, guys, in a long time. So just to give you some context, this was the intraday. So this is what you're seeing right here. And then, oh, after hours, it wants to go to a uh, hundred in freaking, oh, nope, sorry, 200, almost 300. Yep, that's what it did. That's a black swan mover, guys. Even small shares would have wiped some of the best out. That's just how crazy it was for a reference. That's the chart he posted. But he flipped long when he knew this just was not operating well during intraday. And he still did good intraday. So, Jan, you are a monster. Uh, you know, I'm sure he only capitalized on a little bit of this because nobody expected this kind of move. But, guys, that's what happened. And, look, I know this is totally hindsight huru. Like, this is, like, 100% hindsight. But, like, I wouldn't have been ballsy enough to take this trade. Nobody is. But, like, holy shit, guys. Like, where did the stock fail before? You know, especially when it gives back all its gains. You want to hit where it failed back before. You need those dead cap outs in outer lines. I give webinars in this weekly. But tr stocks you can actually trade with a lot of comfort, ease, and not need a defibrillator right next to your desk because this thing is skipping 40 and $50 if you're wrong. So just wanted to point that out. But where did the stock fail before? You know, it definitely conforms to the chart. Uh, coming into today, guys, I have a couple charts from Bao again, and I'm going to pull these up. TPST. I feel like this is a funny webinar, uh, or a funny video at least. These aren't necessarily webinars, but kind of. So this thing is totally stuffy pre-market coming into the open, and Bao hammers it and follows it down. And when something's so deviated under VWAP, guys, you can hit you can hit pops like this. So this is just no demand. Demand drop off entirely. So these this thing is just not going to be a headache. It's just bag holder city. So really, really, really beautiful chart by Bao. Really well done. Uh, G-Sun, my God, man. So whenever I see something like this, guys, I just go like this. I go like this. I'm going to give you a quick little tipper right here. Let's draw all the tops pre-market together. Okay. Right? So those are all the tops. You can literally just draw a circle like this. Give me one second. Let me move it over. That's basically where all the tops are and failed before. And you could heighten it right to their pre-market high. So anytime it gets within these levels, it's probably going to fail. Stocks have personalities, guys. One, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down. Every time it gets this outer level, it's already showed four times pre-market. What do you think it's going to do? Like, you think this thing's really just going to go, you know what? Now we need to move to four. <laughs> I mean, 
it's not likely you know it can happen of course anything can happen you just saw what top did after hours but more often than not guys these things can form to the charts and that's just a way to eyeball it for pre-market and be like well fool me once fool me twice fool me three fool me four maybe fool me five maybe fool me six <laughs> like dude i'm telling you sometimes this is just pretty much uh you know, two plus two equals four, man. Or that's that's at least how it feels. Oh, that's it. So that so that's G Sun, guys. That's the last chart. And then uh, I wanted to pull up what the members were doing. E E again. I take my hat off to you, my friend. What a good week, brother. U car, beautiful job. Where the stock fell before. Rockmon again. I tip my cap to you, brother. Uh, really good job. TPST uh, doing exactly what literally exactly what Bao did. You guys, you guys would think that. The watch list doesn't work and the live commentary doesn't work, but all of our members are having the same successful PL curves and charts as Bow and Alex. So I guess it does work. I guess you do pay for MIC for a damn reason. And I guess the members are happy for a very specific reason. Oh yeah, because we're the best teachers on the internet for teaching you small cap trading or big cap trading or swing trading or options. So guys, I don't know what you're sleeping on. You gotta join MIC right now and you're gonna get daily mentorship, commentary, watch list, everything in a nutshell. And then we have a video library list to help you once you have downtime. So again, guys, right here, UCAR, where the stock failed before, beautiful job. Irvin, 91, and irreversibly long, hitting the long side of UCAR, wonderful job. Both sides of the equation, guys, given your comfort level. And Rockmon on CXAI. So Ian Rockmon this week, dude, you guys get the freaking golden trophy, dude. I'm telling you. I am telling you, you guys murdered this week. Uh, so if I go into our Slack chat, guys, this is our chat room. So every single day, every single day, we have a watch list dedicated to giving you an edge, giving you the levels, what you need to be paying attention to. If you take that to after hours, you can see what the members, the mods are doing. Steven's at dinner. Uh, this is an old meetup, posting your charts, getting to know your fellow trader, whatever, what have you. It's such a good time. And this is what you're paying for guys. This is the community. This is super fun. And oh my gosh, that's a crazy chart. Is that Aloha trader? That's nuts on Megal. That's crazy. That's funny to look at, man. That's awesome. Uh, but the point is guys, as opposed to anything, like get to know your fellow man and woman. This is the community. This is what you pay for. This is literally what MIC is. A, uh, the main trading chat, we take all of the commentary, you know, the live commentary guys today, the warnings, the education, the mentorship, we all wrap it into the live trading chat uh, for small cap short selling and then or longs. And then we have a large cap room as well. And we just have, guys, we just have so much information and data for you guys to follow along and get acclimated and really become a member at MIC and like the experience and continue liking it. So, you know, that's what we have to offer. And then if we go to myinvestingclub.com, what you're going to see is three things I really want you to pay attention to. First things first is book a call. So you can text my line at 213-458-5997, or you can actually book a call where we can talk one-on-one -on -one to see if MIC is for you. And then guys, click right here for a one-hour free training. You'll get it right here. Uh, you know, Alex showcases a really good one-hour webinar free training, and you guys can check this out. And then simultaneously... Uh, View, view verified broker statements. Guys, Alex has made 8.3 million in the last four years. Like that's your educator at MIC. That's your number one educator. Like, wouldn't you want to learn from a guy like that? You can't make that stuff up. It's literally broker verified. Uh, if we go to the video library, guys, what you're going to see is a full roadmap, full commentary, full structure. But if you scroll down right here, you'll see Alex's live trades. I love this so much. It's a series where Alex literally records his screen live, adds audio commentary after the fact, and just, well, it's, it's a recorded trade live, but he adds the audio commentary after to just spice it up and make sure you know exactly what he was thinking and doing while he recorded his screen during the trade. And he does it after the fact, so he doesn't mess up his live trade while he's recording. Recording. He's got to focus, but super cool, uh, exclusive to Lifetime. Guys, if you want to watch this or you want to upgrade and get access to the replay of the live screen share webinar in this last week, all you got to do is DM me in chat. If you're a member at tbradley90, guys, just literally send me a DM. This is my handle right here. If you guys are not a part of MIC and you just want to come in on annual or lifetime, just text my line at 213-458-5997. We'll get you a good deal for specifically anybody who watched this webinar. Give me code webinar. Just text that to my line and uh, we'll reward the people who watch these. But guys, 
I am telling you right now, MIC is the real deal of real-time education, and you guys need to look at us and get better at your trading, and honestly, just kind of sacrifice your ego and say, look, maybe you're not profitable, maybe you're not consistent, maybe you need help. So as per usual, guys, normal tradition. I know it's not it, it, it's not hard to figure out, but 22,600 minus 6,000 in visual form. Alex made six, uh, to my knowledge, I don't have the other days, but this is this is what I know he posted. Um, he made almost $17,000 this week, guys, and that's not including, um, what's called, you know, uh, rebates from Success Trader, his main broker. So I'm sure it was a lot more than that, but he had a lot going on this week, traveling and all this stuff, so... Guys, that was the that was the MIC ESPN highlight reel. I hope you get some value out of these. I just kind of want to recap the week every single week, talk about what's happening, show you guys the features at MIC, and uh, show you that it looks like retirement's back on with the spy. So let's freaking go, man! All right, guys, I will catch you next week, and have a wonderful weekend, everybody.